Hey everybody. I know we're probably not going to be able to see a whole lot because of the glare on the tank. I didn't really have time to prepare for this. I just walked into the room and my striped Raphael is sitting out on the left side of the tank down there if you can see him. I'm going to try to ease my way up to him. Hopefully he's not just going to swim away as we get closer, but that's usually the case. I think my sort of booming voice right at him is going to be one of the things that scares him off. So let me quieten him down here for a minute. This is where we normally see him. So that was that. We did get to see a little bit of a look at him. But while I've got you, I will give you a quick update on one of the videos I've been working on. Uh, for my regular viewers, you will know that I've been working on a video about the CO2 and pH and all of that stuff and I was about three quarters of the way through all of my experimentation and I wound up bringing the um, glasses of water back downstairs and was going to see what effect the pH had shifting again and yesterday was actually a nice lovely uh, cool day out and last night was a cool night and so I had the fan on in the window and I had the window open all night and it never even crossed my mind that I was in the middle of running an experiment about the uh, high levels of CO2 down here in the basement so when I decided to check I looked at my CO2 levels and they were about 500 parts per million so that puts us more or less Never seen that loach go after that angelfish like that before. That was interesting. Now, I know that loach will go around fish, and it'll sort of groom them uh, the way fish at a cleaning station will. It'll go all over them and sort of look up under their gill flaps, and apparently that angelfish didn't want anything to do with it. And usually when the fish sort of leave and dart away, the loach leaves them alone. I've never seen the loach, you know follow a fish the way that one was doing like that that was interesting although i'm sure the angelfish didn't appreciate it all that much anyway long story short i vented out the basement right in the middle of trying to do experiments with you know co2 levels building up and basically boogered up my whole entire um experiment so we're going to have to start over and do the whole thing from scratch but i'm not going to do it with a bunch of different you know waters i'm just going to take one sample of water and what i want to try to do is see uh, if i get an effect by taking the water upstairs and then bringing it back downstairs i've gotten effects from taking the water upstairs but i've never actually tried bringing it back downstairs to see if i don't increase the amount of CO2 that's in the water. And the more I looked at some of the early results I got before I boogered everything up, uh, I'm beginning to doubt my own hypothesis that the elevated levels of CO2 down here are really having that much of an impact on the uh, growth in my tanks. It might be, you know, it might be having some small impact on there, but I really don't think it's going to be having any kind of significant impact on it. What is it with the loaches wanting to go over to this angelfish? I have to make some adjustments to this tank to get that angelfish a little bit of a break. It seems like the uh, loaches are taking too much of an interest in it. So it is getting close to dinner time. Maybe everybody's just waiting for food to come in the tank and they see me standing right here in front of it and they're probably getting impatient wondering what's going on, why there's no food coming in. But anyway, I know this is sort of a rambly video. I've had sort of a discombobulated week. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be my only video for tonight, but so far this is the only video I've done today, and it's the only thing I had in mind, really. Uh, I just stuck my head in the room. I saw my striped Raphael sitting there, and I wanted to get some video of him, but I also wanted to update everybody on that uh, pH video, which should have been done today, but like I said, I boogered it all up, so we're not going to have that, and we will start over. I want to let the CO2 levels down here in the basement build back up. It's only up at 600 right now, so by tomorrow we'll probably be back up to about a thousand parts per million or something and that should be high enough that i'll be able to go ahead and start sort of redoing my experiment and we'll try again so there you go everybody hopefully tomorrow night we'll get a better video like i said i've had kind of a discombobulated last couple of days 
and I'm lucky to get in here fairly and shoot any video at all, I feel like. So I'm glad I got this done. So I will catch you all on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed, and don't forget, this here is my Garami tank. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.